guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kyra and I make videos all about Chicago living. If you didn't know, I am a broker with Compass. So my job is to be able to help you guys find your dream apartments in the city. I work a lot in rentals. I have tons of rental videos up on my channel, but I also help my clients who are renting and turn into homeowners here in the city as well. But today's video is what you can get for two beds for like $450,000 range. Also, instead of focusing in downtown, I'm shooting this up into Lincoln Park because there are such cool units up there. I was searching around and honestly, this video could have had 17 listings in it, but it would have been the world's longest video. So I narrowed it down to three. They were just really cool, really unique listings with a lot of character and they're very different. And I am very excited about today's video. That being said, if you are looking to rent or buy in the city, I am completely here to help. I do have a job form link in my description box that you can fill out for both rentals and sales. And I would love to be able to help you find your next place. If you can't tell, I love this ish and it makes makes me very excited to be able to talk about it. All right, jumping in, this first listing is a two bed, one bath. It's 1,200 square feet though, which is a pretty stinking good size. And it's listed at 395,000. So quite a bit under budget. I was looking around that 450 range. This one's under 400K. One thing I love about being a little bit further north is your HOA fees are so much lower. This one, the HOA is 270 a month. So, so much lower than what you would have seen in River North. They wrote a very long description on this one, but a couple of things I just wanna point out is they have a lot of new things like the HVAC and the water heater, which is great. There's a real wood burning fireplace, storage spaces included, washer and dryer in unit, and easy permit parking along the lovely tree line street. So it is gonna be important to take in account like how easy the parking is in that area. That being said, let's look at her because she's a thing of beauty. So coming into this unit, I just think it's really decorated, really cute. It has a lot of character. I think they did a really good job with it. I don't know if it's staged or this is someone's home right now, but it makes me like ready to want to move in. I love this green colored paint. I know it's just paint. You shouldn't buy a place based off of the paint, but the baseboards and everything, it's just so cute. I love the chandelier. So this is your like dining room area. Coming to the living room, that's a real wood burning fireplace. I love the like white painted brick, little bay window over there that they have some chairs in. That chandelier is from Ikea. I recognize that one, but it's cute. Kitchen, I hate the black countertops, but like that's just a very superficial thing. Other than that, the kitchen looks really good. It looks functional. You do have a dishwasher, full-size fridge, gas range stove. This is another little bay window part. This one, we'd wanna be sure to like understand the area just because where you are in Lincoln Park, if you're up against the trains or something, that can be loud and you just do not want that. I'm assuming that this credenza comes with it. It looks like a built-in and it looks really, really nice as well as that washer dryer. This I believe is the primary bedroom. I love those are really nice blinds where they can go up or down. Ceiling fan, that's huge. It also, you can tell it has central air in AC because of up there, which a lot of units in Lincoln Park don't have. So that's really nice too. Bathroom, so cute. It looks like a really good deep tub, but just like the tiling, ugh. I love it. I am. I love this unit. This is the secondary bedroom. So it does look like it would be very, very small if you were trying to have like a regular sized bed in there, but they have a crib in there and it's super cute. And that chandelier and just all the finishes. I, mm, so sweet. I don't know what this is a little mural of. It looks like Paris water colored, but it's melting my heart and exploding my ovaries. Another view of the secondary bedroom. You can see it has a lot more of the vintagey finishes. Like you can tell that the doors are older. Having the glass above the doorways is a much older thing, but it's very cute. I'm from San Francisco. It reminds me of like San Francisco walk-ups. Here is a floor plan of the entire space. So I think it does look like a really good one. I'm glad that it comes with extra storage just because my one note is that the closets seem a little bit small. This is a closet space in the primary, so that one's really good. And keep in mind, again, it is a one bath, so that would be a big differentiator between this and others as well. But it looks like a very cute unit. This one, it's location. Close to Oz Park, you're kind of in between the Fullerton and the Armitage stops. You're not like right outside either of the trains. Also, you're not along the train. I think you'd be far enough away, you shouldn't hear it very much from there at all. But you'd probably have like a 10 minute walk to either of the stops. Armitage would be your closer one. But that's just such a cute area to be in. I really really, really like it. And to go over what your monthly price point would be, keep in mind, these are very rough estimates. There's so much that goes into this that it depends on. However, this is based off of a 30 year fixed mortgage with a 20% down at what they consider to be like an average rate right now, which is a 6.09, including your principal interest, property tax and HOAs. You can roughly expect that you'd be able to spend $2,799 per month for this too bad. Beautiful, we love her. So this one is an A plus in my books. All right, moving into number Number two, this one is 1735 West Diversity. This unit is for 415,000. It is a two bed, two bath. They don't have 
the square footage in here. I find it very interesting that in sales, they don't always say the square footage because in rentals, you literally go off of square footage. Like everyone cares so much about square footage. The fact that sales just sort of like, yeah, we don't know. It blows my freaking mind. Anyways, Southeast facing, that's like ideal because you'll get so much natural light, two bed, two bath, extra wide corner unit. We love a corner. Both bedrooms being fully enclosed. That's something to point out because a lot of units in Chicago, you'll have the primary bedroom enclosed and then the secondary bedroom is like a lofted one. So I do not love that as much. In unit laundry, central heat and AC. This one has a garage space and a storage locker included in the price. So the fact that that garage space is included in the price is huge. I think that is a very, very like important thing. Pet friendly and it has its own private dog park. You do not find that in River North. Like condo buildings do not have dog parks in River North. So I love that. This unit is a relocation unit. So there are a lot of nuances when it comes to a relocation because you have to have like special qualifications in order to buy it. The seller is like a company instead of it being the actual primary owner, but usually it's not an issue. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this one. So this one is going to be much more of a lofty style. That last one was like your vintage walk-up vibe. This one's like much more urban -y vibe. You have this big balcony terrace here, indoor space. You know, I was thinking about this before. I can't tell if these are renderings. It definitely is virtually staged if it's not renderings and it's just giving big rendering vibes. What that means is like none of this furniture is real. These are all computer generated pieces of furniture to give you an idea of what it could look like. And I think they just do that over like a photo of the actual listing, but like it's all just giving computer generated vibes, but all the same, it looks really cool. Big kitchen island, still plenty of space for a dining table as well as a couch. You do have a fireplace, another view from the kitchen. The finishes in the kitchen, not my favorite at all. I hate that backsplash, don't love the cabinets. But again, these are all things that could be changed. Fall in love with the unit, don't fall in love with the finishes. Finishes are easier switches, especially paint. Paint's the easiest one. There's carpet in the bedroom, but you do have ceiling fans, really nicely built out closet in the primary, dual vanity sinks. Again, hate all these finishes though. Not my favorite. Bathtub, yada, yada. Blue, blue is a bold color. Love the blinds in here though. And then this is that secondary bath. Finishes in this one are better. There is your full size washer dryer. This is going to be a storage closet. And then just to give the floor plan. So you enter into the apartment from here. This is going to be your utility closet, washer and dryer here, closet there. Secondary bedroom, secondary bathroom, primary bedroom, walk-in closet, primary bath, and then kitchen, fireplace, balcony. This one location wise is quite a bit further west. This is kind of bordering like Lincoln Park Lakeview. Your nearest train line from here would be the diversity stop. So not too far, but that'd probably be like a good 10 to 15 minute walk. But there are buses that run up and down diversity all the time. So that would be very, very easy. And then again, just a rough estimate on what this one would cost with 20% down at a 415 price. Included parking is 3,148 per month. Those numbers, you really gotta take them or leave them with a grain of salt because it is completely dependent on what type of loan you have, how much you put down. But I like to just give like a rough estimate. All right, in this last unit, I love her. I think this is such a freaking cool unit. This one is 2614 North Clybourne. It is listed at 435,000. It is a two bed, two bath, 1,450 square feet. Their HOA is 430 a month. This is a top floor penthouse unit, 23 foot vaulted ceilings, wood burning fireplace, south views of the city skyline, as well as west and the Chicago River. Lincoln Yards is coming nearby. That is gonna be the huge development that's happening in the Lincoln Park sort of area. They're basically taking over a whole chunk of the river up there and gonna develop it out into, I don't even, I haven't looked at the re most recent renderings. I think they've gone through a ton of different ones of what they're gonna do, but that's gonna be like a very up and coming area. So this one could be a really good one if you are looking into like holding on to it for long term and being able to make a lot down the road once Lincoln Yards is up and bustling give you an idea of where this one is. So this location in particular, you definitely would need a car. It's quite a bit further from the trains than the other one. It's just not as convenient of a location to be in. However, this whole area is what's getting developed. So this is a very, very up and coming area. You do get one parking space included in this price as well. So that is very, very nice to know. All right, let's take a look at her because I think it's so cool. I love this unit. Ah, look at it. It gives like all of the urban vibes while being like very homey and cozy, but unique. Like, I just think it's so cool. This is your downstairs area. So this is your balcony. This faces out west. So you would get the sunset views and lots of afternoon light, wood burning fireplace, just the cutouts. It's all so unique. Like I love that it's not a cookie cutter unit at all. All three of these units have been very unique in their style, but this one just, this, this speaks to me. I have no idea what's going on here, 
with this like, is it a light fixture? There's a wine bottle in there. Is that a coat rack? Like, I'm not sure, but I'm intrigued. Stairs lead upstairs. You'll see this is the second bedroom area. This one is a loft bedroom. So again, not my favorite style. I don't love a lofted second bedroom, but to be able to have these floors with the beams and the wood, oh, so cool. Kitchen, really good size, lots of good storage space. Again, the finish is not my favorite. It's, I think this is like butcher block in the middle of the countertop. Also can't tell if the counters are concrete. If the counters are concrete, that's cool. But I feel like they're like a black granite, but the photos don't really give me enough to be able to say for sure. This is gonna be the primary bedroom. This one is downstairs. It doesn't have windows. So your bedroom situation in this one is quite funky just because the upstairs one is lofted and the downstairs one doesn't have windows because it's underneath that upstairs one. But your living room space is sick. Washer and dryer, bathroom. Actually, I think this one might be considered the secondary and this is the primary upstairs. I think I said that wrong. These are fans. I think that's really cool. This ladder leads up to additional storage space up here. You have another ceiling fan. This is your primary closet, primary bathroom. Nothing really to write home about. Your view, so like I said, facing out west, this would be your southern view with the city skyline down there. This is all gonna change. So that's another thing to keep in mind because it's all developing, you might be surrounded by like a lot of construction in the meantime. But here's an overview of the floor plan. So this is the downstairs area with that downstairs bedroom. Enter through here, closet here. These are the stairs to lead to upstairs. And then this is that upstairs space. So here they are side by side. What they don't show is above this walk-in closet I believe is additional storage and that's why there's that ladder there so she's pretty neat I liked her she's funky for this one your all-in price estimate is 3,190 a month so pretty similar to the last one yeah only roughly $50 off from the last one so these two are pretty neck and neck even though the purchase price is a bit higher just because those HOA fees are lower it all kind of evens out comment down below let me know which one was your favorite of one two or three personally because I'm someone who doesn't have a car I love unit number one I think the price point is really great and I love all of the character in it. I just think it's a really really cool cute beautiful unit but I love all three units otherwise I wouldn't have shown them all to you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up like I said if you are looking to buy or you're even curious about the buying process and all of that please reach out to me that job form is in the description box you're never gonna waste my time so feel free to fill it out and I'd love to chat with you more if you haven't already hit that big red subscribe button because I post two videos a week and I would love for you to follow along thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time I almost forgot to blow the kiss